Hello, my name is Maria, and in this video, I'm going to customize a onesie and a pair of shoes. So these are all my supplies. I have some fabric paint in the primary colors plus black and white, and I have some white canvas shoes, um, shirt, and then this onesie, which I just thought would be cute to decorate. So I'm not going to decorate all three of these things in this video, just because that would take forever. But um, whatever I don't get to in this video, I will decorate in a future video. So I'm starting out with the onesie, which I'm decorating to look like a cow. Painting the onesie was pretty tedious because the fabric was very flexible and kind of fuzzy so it was hard to get clean sharp lines. I tried to do that with a dotting tool at first but then switched to a silicone brush nib sort of thing and that ended up working pretty well. I probably wouldn't do this again unless I have like a really brilliant idea or something just because it took so long and was pretty tedious. Plus the design I chose was pretty repetitive. So here's the finished onesie. Although it wasn't the most fun thing in the world, I'm decently happy with the end result. So now for the shoes. I washed them before painting them and that wasn't a very good idea because they kind of fell apart in the wash so I had to do some minor repairs before I started painting. that was done I got into the actual painting and these shoes are going to be themed after watermelon. For interest and because I didn't want to do the exact same thing twice I switched up where I put the pink and the green on each shoe. These shoes were so much more fun to paint than the onesie since they're a stiff canvas material rather than a super soft fabric. 
I'll definitely do this again because I had so much fun and I have another really cute idea for a second pair of shoes. And I want to mention that my cousin Catherine recently opened an online store for her nail art designs. She also has a blog and a YouTube channel where she shares her nail art. She's super talented and creative, so I really recommend checking out her stuff and subscribing to her YouTube channel. Um, so I'll put the links in this video's description for her channel plus her blog and store. So here are the finished shoes. Um, I love how these came out. I think they're really cute and they were really fun and satisfying to paint. So I'll definitely be doing this again sometime. So that's everything for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and I hope you have a great day.